It's all right, Alice. They've gone now. It's me, Lucy. Can I come and have my counter back, please? Alice? Alice, where are you? Please don't leave me here, Alice. Alice, please come back. I'm going to drop you lot at the crossroads, OK? Oh, that's Mark from the shop. It's just as far from the Montessori car. Yeah, well, look, we've got to be at this committee meeting in 20 minutes, and I'm just not dealing with town traffic for you lot. Come on. Rotten reactionary. Well, what do you expect to do? Fly? Hey, when you come back Lucy, she's got our Christmas present. Oh. Jump there in, Lucy. She is. Come on, Lucy. Come on, darling. Thank you. Right. You OK. Now, is everyone here at last? All present and correct? Off we go. Come on. <laughs> And they've got some kind of bionic eyes and see some. Really lovely kind of pedestal. And then there's Dr. Who Daleks. And there's a new fire in Fox Hill. And, uh, I haven't got any of those anyway, of course. And, uh, wait. I want to. Well, Lucy, we're pleased to know we separate here. But why? Because buying Christmas gifts is supposed to be a secret. You must go. You'll have to come back again. Alice, are you talking to Flo? Remember, after supper, tonight. Tonight? What? I said, do you want to wrap your presents tonight? I don't know. Why? Because we're going to need some wrapping paper if you do. Unless you brought some with you. Where are the boys? Well, they just went into Woolies. Yes, you should go. go. A second ago. Oh, yes. What is the matter, Lucy? Aren't you well? Quite well, thank you. Well, let's get going. I don't wish to look the hole, but thank you. What? You don't have to look after me, you know. I know, but you don't know your way around here. I'll be all right. It's a 48 bus back to the bottom of the road. It goes from outside the post office. Fine, I'll be off. <laughs>
Nice, my dear. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. Are you warm enough? Please, have a seat. Come along, my dear. There. Now. What may I bring you? Oh, there she is. I like your coat this time. Really, child, you must wear a hat and gloves outside. It's quite vulgar not to. May I help you? Thank you very much. We should like to examine your merchandise alone. Oh, very well, madam. How do you, sh you shouldn't talk to people like that. It's rude. That's how you're supposed to treat tradesmen. Anyway, how do you know it's here? That would be telling, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, and I want to know. Then want must be your master. Mademoiselle. Don't say anything, I'll explain it. I explained. Hello, madam. I hope these little girls have been politeness with you. Madam, you can't do explain something wrong. Can you? Can you? Just came in without you. Alice, who is this? Well, this is Lucy, the friend I was telling you about. She was all by herself. By herself? Pourquoi? She has no one to look after her. Her mamma and papa are away as well. And she hasn't got a nice governess. But a nursemaid, n'est-ce pas? Oh, yes, there's a nursemaid. But she's far too busy looking after Lucy's four little brothers and sisters. And she's very cruel to Lucy. But no. No. Now, Lucy, you know you must always tell the truth. Bien sûr. So Lucy can come home with us, can't she, mademoiselle? But her mamma. Her mamma is a great friend of my mamma. Mais oui. You should not be on the streets alone, ma petite. Allons. But there's something you must know, mademoiselle. Oui? Lucy wants to thank you for taking her home. Thank you. Oh, merci, Flo. Merci. Now, you girls may play in the schoolroom if you wish. Tea will be ready soon. Pick your hat up, please, Alice. Thank you, Ramsell. Okay. Come on, Lucy. Yes. Lucy, how can I find your nursemaid? Where is your house? Would you like to touch them? Can I? You mean, may I? May I? If you like. You can try this one on if you like. I don't mind. See you in those clothes. Get the coat back on. Alice, I said that the tea is... But why are you still wearing your coat, ma petite? Lucy can't wait to get home to plan for my birthday.